his people who are plagued by the beast, the mighty beast, the mightiest of beasts. The beast formerly known as El Toro. No, no, formerly, you see, he became very, very, very sad in his later days. And as time went on, he began to grow a thunder side in his heart. And from then on, he was called El Toro's own. Boom, 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 Podcast. Hey, we are OCD bringing you this <laughs> week's podcast. I'm Christian. I'm E. What? I'm EJ. <laughs> are you sure? I'm E. What? <laughs> I'm E. Dang it, the order's all messed up. I'm <laughs> Dan. Uh, what? Who? <laughs> you're Dan? You're Dan- Dano? Guy who? You're, da- you're Guy Book him, Dano. <laughs> and I'm Nathan. Guy who? <laughs> Guy who? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Dotson. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that? Uh, that was high school, if you don't yeah. remember. No, I, no, I meant the intro. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, I, I'm so sad that I didn't get the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe one day, when one the day time we'll, is we'll, right... We'll play it at one of our shows. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the <laughs> moon <Toro Zone. laughs> is blocked by the sun. Just gonna On have the third you, day. The moon is blocked by, by the, the sun. sun. <laughs> That's what an eclipse is. Have you never seen an eclipse? Well, there are two kinds of eclipses. The lunar and the solar. Yeah. An eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes an eclipse. Like a lunar eclipse is when So it's like an email, so E dash clips. <laughs> you're putting the you're putting the wrong emphasis, emphasis on, on the, the wrong <laughs> syllable. No, like a like an like a Mitsubishi eclipse. Spider Mitsubishi. Yeah, she, it's called a Mitsubishi eclipse. Uh, you're crazy. No, it's called the wait, wait, Mitsubishi. Christian, why don't why don't you spell that? Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that um, Mitsubishi, the symbol, is three diamonds? Because Mitsubishi is actually Japanese for three, three diamonds. That's, Mitsu, that's a um, that's counting. three. Yeah, and then Bishi is the shape of a diamond. That's what it stands for. So it's three diamonds. Is that why they call it Bishonen? Be shown in an entirely different yeah, thing. That's uh, something else, dude. Heh, heh, heh. All right. Yeah. So my my humor is gonna be really interesting. I'm is. pretty tired. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so is, you know what time? What time uh, is it? I woke it's up fifteen time. hours ago. There you go. Something. It's that crack hour. So but speaking of Adventure Time. Uh, I went ahead and watched the Simon and Marcy oh, episode. Oh, 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 oh my heart! I have <laughs> yet to see an episode. I of was, time. I'm not I ready was to watching talk it. about it yet. <laughs> I was watching it and I was just, oh, <laughs> oh, why, 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 why? It was, um, it was something else. Yeah, I, I almost cried. Right? Almost. Only spoilers. Almost. My oh, heart cried. Again, I don't watch the show, so not spoilers at all. Then. Yeah. Yeah, nothing I mean, was like, spoiled for I, you. Mm, I don't know. I've told myself I'd probably get into it, but I was like, nah, I don't think Adventure Time is my cup of tea. Oh, it it it's very you, EJ. Yeah, I think yeah. it would be. Uh, well, when I have the opportunity, I'll check it out. But um, it's funny how you say that. It's not your cup of tea, even though it's like so wild and just like it is absolutely your cup of tea. Seriously. Mm. Well, it's one thing for me to act crazy. It's another. F- Thing for me to watch something be as crazy as I am. I don't know. It's weird. It's like I don't like looking at my own uh, reflection on some sort of media. So it's like watching our own YouTube stuff and then you not liking our YouTube stuff because you're on it. Mm, well, yeah. Mm, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I'm back. You're back from but work. I, but it's, I, I know it's adventure. me, whereas it's something else portraying like the idea of me. <laughs> Apparently, like, there's no water within the immediate vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's right over here. <laughs> don't make me. Ooh, I will water. come over there. Bottle don't. Water. don't oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh oh. Hey, no. About no. fights about yeah, to get no. down. Hey, give me the water. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 
Wow. That didn't end well. He didn't get his water, unfortunately, guys. I got stabbed four times in the chest. By what? Water. <laughs> Don't you see? You got stabbed bending. in the chest by water? <laughs> dude, dude, Nathan's a waterbender. Don't you know? Yes. Okay, I can't handle this. I'm going to go get some water. <laughs> Avatar Varker. Arvatar? Yeah. Arvatar. Er, my good Arvatar. <laughs> Speaking of mispronunciations, that M. Night Shyamalan failure, though. Uh, oh, uh, God, are we going to bring that up? The Last Airbender That's movie? the worst. Oh, my Ong. God. Ong. Uh, Ong. Ong. Iro Soka. I mean, <laughs> like, I could see, like, he's trying to get, like, um, authentic with the culture where they're coming from. It's like. Yeah, but it's a good thing that he, uh, that Fire Nation isn't, uh, you know. All of the Fire Nation is just dark skinned. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. People. And then, like, we have the Caucasian uh, protagonists. Yeah. And then the um, oppressed uh, minorities, where the Earth Kingdom is like a mix of Asian and African. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I, I don't know if they're gonna if that's not gonna survive anymore. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't, even, I don't, I don't even know think. if they're gonna make the other books. Yeah. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything changed, changed when M. M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan attacked. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, definitely. Or shout, out, shout out to Shyamalan, the the parody. Oh movie. yeah. So there is a there's a short that's um, it's college it's a, humor. Is it? Yeah, it's it's a parody of M. Night Shyamalan and how his decline uh, started. Started. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> From the, make, from the mind of N. Night Shyamalan. That's, exact, that's exactly how it was. I was watching a movie after the release of The Last Airbender. And and it was Scott Pilgrim, I think. No, no. Uh, actually, yeah, I was watching uh-huh. the midnight premiere of Scott Pilgrim. And the, a preview, the elevator, the yeah, elevator a preview movie. for an M. Night Shyamalan movie came up. And we were like, oh, this is kind of interesting. I wonder what this movie is. And it said, from the mind of M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan and the entire theater started booing at the screen because we were so <laughs> disappointed that it was him awesome oh lordy uh, does he even like, still make movies to this day well, can I we stop know. talking about him and talk about scott pilgrim that's like a thousand times more interesting than i know, right? I I know nothing of scott pilgrim what? What? what's wrong with you everything so you don't watch Adventure Time. You haven't you seen Scott Pilgrim. You don't know who M Night Shyamalan is. Well, I oh, you're okay. you're crazy, I EJ. Know that guy. Oh, yeah, shit. EJ EJ worships him. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh the Last Airbender. Oh, the best, greatest so, movie in the world. So Nathan, oh. how, how I have to shave my hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got checkmated. Oh. Game oh. over. Oh, so, so hey, 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 in my defense, though, I made that shit before the movie came out, three years in advance. So he did it before it was cool. Yeah, hipster. Yeah. Hipster, hipster EJ. <laughs> oh, <lordy. laughs> so in light now, now we need to take that picture of him and just put some hipster glasses on it. And, and then scarf. have Ong. <laughs> so just O-N-G. O-N-G. <laughs> yeah. Ong. Oh, God. <laughs> so enlighten me on the Scott Pilgrim thing, my bobber. Well, I was actually going to ask Nathan first. Uh, so how many evil exes would you go through for a girlfriend? Uh, if I had the powers of Scott Pilgrim, uh, I would probably stop at the twins. Wait, wait, powers? He, he didn't really have. He didn't. Well, he didn't really have yeah, powers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, think about it. If, <laughs> if you got if you got the the crap beat out of you as much as Scott Pilgrim, would you still be up and walking? Well, that's yeah. just how that world worked. I, I'm pretty sure everyone. Yeah, well, yeah but that's that not how this happened. world yeah. works. So yeah. If you had Scott Pilgrim powers, then it'd mean that you'd be able to take a beating. Yeah, it's video game powers. If you had video yeah, game powers, I would probably. Right, I'll take that. I, I would probably stop at the twins. I wouldn't go further than. Why you have a band? You have allies. Well, no, that's th- after the twins is when he like lost everything. So yeah. So I mean, after the twins is Gideon. You mean you mean yeah. you mean when he called you and bit was all like. Oh, poor Scott. You you wouldn't have just gotten up and went and kicked his ass. I mean, you already fought through six of the evil exes. Yeah, that's true. Huh. I would have I would have just gone there and kicked his ass because yeah. he's an asshole. Yeah, but uh, he's OP though. Yeah, that, yeah, eh. exactly. Yeah, but you're the main protagonist. You're like four times as OP. 
Even when you die, you still win. If yeah, but you have a plot shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. Duh. Speaking Winning. of... Winning. Do you guys keep up with TV tropes by any chance? Or TV like chokes? chokes? TV like tropes. Is that like artichoke? Artichoke. <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> that too. <laughs> TV tropes is a collection of um like... TV or media jargon where they like where they s- explain things like um, well tropes aren't just like TV. There's the whole site for well, isn't that the name of the site though? TV tropes. Yeah, TV tropes. Can I have orgy, che- orgy. cheeseburger? Yeah, and uh, meatspin.com. Yeah, meatspin.com. Wow, link, link dump. <laughs> that that's the that um, is not that is not going in the link dump. <laughs> 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 yeah, that that's for all your informational needs. Right, <laughs> that's a, for that's everything you need on the, the internet. Gra- it's the greatest search engine in the world. Yeah. Oh lordy. <laughs> Wait, so about I don't know. Bing. Do you know that? Do you know what that is, EJ? No, I don't. Okay, it's the greatest. It, it's the greatest. You I'll probably. look at it in my own. Time. <laughs> yeah, 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 probably. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Um, so how do you guys feel about Bing versus Google? Google, Google, Google? what? I don't know. Just something out there. Google. Um, why are you? Bing? Are you a Bing? No, a Bing boy. I mean, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Bing boy. Bing boy. Bing boy. You're a Bing boy, Ang. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's not racist because three quarters of us are asian yeah <laughs> if i had said it yeah that would been absolutely yeah. racist be but yeah google, wasn't even thinking it seriously google yeah only like, because was... their and their android apps for for google um google now it's way better than uh, well we have the uh, samsung galaxy s3 or mm-hmm. at least uh you know two of the four people have it and um, S Voice versus Google Now. Google Now uh, tops it off. Google Now versus Siri. I would probably say Google Now. Google Now. I mean, I I got to use Siri a couple times when I borrowed someone's. You know, at you know at work, we're just playing around with phones. Google Now is very cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, just an example. I have it set to double click on my phone, double click the home button. Mm-hmm. So I'd go straight to Google Now's voice search. Okay. Then uh, you could say something like, uh, let me set up. Is it going to rain today? No, rain is not expected today. And <laughs> the forecast is 75 degrees and partly cloudy. Oh my God. There you go. Uh, wow, that is Very so nice. I, I yeah. don't have that. How do I get that? Yeah, all right. What is Google, it? Google Now. Google Now? Oh. Uh, it comes. It should come standard with your phone. That's Mine's an older model. That's crazy. Well, it's Google, so yeah. It's Google. <laughs> yeah. It, just, mm-hmm. it comes in with. Well, it depends on your the firmware update. Uh, if you have ICS Ice Cream Sandwich, then it should be able to. Uh, uh, it should be on there for anything 4.0, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, it's actually pretty crazy. The the system for Google now. Really cool. God lord. And then it you it shows you tabs as well, like, oh, I wanna see how far it is from my house, you know, from where I am. Or the weather? No well no, not the weather. <laughs> but like um navigation. It tells you a rough estimate and it also tells you if there's traffic or not. Ooh. So it's like, oh, eighteen minutes from work with traffic, with light traffic, it'll tell you that. Oh, okay, that's cool. And it updates um you know, hourly. Mm-hmm. Uh, or whenever you want it to update. All right. So it's actually pretty. It's a really cool uh, application to that that came with the update. Makes me wish I had a freaking Google phone, Android. Well, you could you could Siri. Oh no, you can't. You have the old. I don't have a Siri. <laughs> then. And Siri is it, like unreliable too. So it's like you know, because I've seen like like um, like you. I've played with Siri at work too, and you know it's just. Uh, it's iffy. It's a hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. So it's you can't tragic. go wrong with Google. They use a freaking search engine. So. <laughs> yeah, true. And they have a really powerful <laughs> search engine. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. So have you guys ever heard this thing called truthism dot com? No. No. Truthism dot uh, com is a very controversial site where they explain like how like there's like the you know how like our world is in a pyramid system where it's like ninety percent are like. The majority population, there's like the elite ten percent, and how like the world, like basically the t- the site talks about how the world is governed by like outside forces beyond our power, and then it and then it gets really weird when it talks about like how the Earth is not a sphere but like a rotating really fast like 
box figure and then how um, reptilians are the ones that control the like the world, blah, blah, blah. So it's, all it, it's like stuff. going on one of those wikis that are completely bullshit and... Pretty much, but I mean, like, what they say in that site, though, is just, like, fascinating. How did they come up with that stuff? Have you ever how heard of SCP? The, yeah, how does that even work? How is the Earth a cube? How does that even work? If it's spinning fast, then it would probably just stretch out. Not It wouldn't even turn and look like a sphere. No, it wouldn't. Have you, have you heard of SCP? Yeah. You should SCP? look up SCP. Okay. Black helicopters. Yeah. Google it. Black helicopters. All right. Shout out to... Uh, Conspiracy <laughs> wary. <laughs> Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Truthism. So it sounds truthism. like truthism is not true. True. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it's a falseism. Yeah, but like the thing <laughs> is, like, like that side is them. there to try to convert like it's global true. minds into believing all the stuff that they posted on the website. It's true to them, so it's true to, to you. Yeah, it's, just, I don't it's know. true. True change. Oh, yeah, I wanted Truman. to talk about. Um, Another cartoon that I I watched, Gravity uh, Falls. Yeah. Oh God, Weird. it's so Isn't good. Isn't it oh, the guys. same people that worked on The Simpsons that do that show? Gravity Falls is the Disney. Yeah, Disney. yeah. I know. I know. It's on the no, Disney I know Channel. It's Disney, but I mean, that's like, Bob's is it Burgers. Mac- oh, okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's not him. All right. Okay. Sorry. It's Alex Hirsch. I think Alex Baldwin. No, but isn't Alex. like Gravity Falls like something like in the heart of Adventure Time ish? Eh, not really. It's it's a little different. The humor is not Disney at all. It's it, weird. It, it's not what I would. It's yeah. not what I would uh, feel from like a Disney Channel. It kind of. It's kind of reminiscent of like older cartoons because the humor is geared towards an older audience. There uh-huh. are some bits and pieces that a younger audience will enjoy, but the humor is for the more, I guess, the more developed mind, because you have to dig through the layers of the jokes and the and the gags. Mm-hmm. Um, right now there's only one season, but they were signed on to two, so there's only 16 episodes uh, available to watch. And I just finished watching all 16 episodes. I'm so really, sorry. It's, re- it's really fun. It's such a good show. Yeah, I I only got to see a couple, and I jumped in while I was eating uh, dinner last night. You were watching it, and I was like, "What is this?" It's, it, it's, it looked like a Cartoon Network uh, cartoon. And I was like, and then I saw the Disney Channel logo show up. I was like. What? No yeah. way! It's so crazy. It's, uh, shout out to Disney Channel. Yeah, having good uh, good programming for once. <laughs> I know, right? Speaking of good programming, are there any like good programs lately on like the cable networks like Nickelodeon? I haven't even. I, don't, I haven't even touched the TV. I don't really watch TV anymore. Yeah. I, everything I watch is online. Yeah, now. pretty Netflix, much. Netflix, Adventure Time, yeah, and stuff like that. Now, with that said in mind, what do you foresee the future of cable TV? Considering what, like what we have available on the internet right now, uh, you know, nothing could, nothing could replace cable TV, really, because they still have sports. Yeah, they're and not then like live no. streaming uh, a game isn't reliable, mm-hmm. only because the internet is just, I mean, it's not there yet. It, yeah, I mean, uh, there's sure there's internet TV, mm-hmm. but now, I mean. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> well, see so if you if you if you look at deep into the future, they're yeah. probably gonna just have a TV that is your source of accessing the internet. So I mean, well, who knows? well, deep in the future is already TV like that. I know, yeah. smart TVs. Yeah, already smart access. TVs are already like that. It's not as sophisticated as I guess deep in the future, but um, a smart TV has access. It's it's internet access. YouTube, Netflix, Vimo, Vimo, Hulu Plus. Crunchyroll, whatever, uh, any of the subscription uh, channels that you uh, that you might need, yeah, you can just get it straight sources. from the TV. So you don't need like a you don't need a computer or an, or an external box. Yeah. You just need to turn on the TV and go. You just, but the thing is, the TV has a processor. It, it you treat it just like a computer. It's essentially a computer, and that's yeah. your TV now. It's a um, computer with a it's a computer with a huge monitor, fifty <laughs> plus inches. <laughs> oh, but if you look at it in my perspective. I've already because I don't watch TV. Mm-hmm. Um, the TV I have in my room is my computer monitor. I yeah. use it to watch videos. In my perspective, I don't need cable. Mm-hmm. I just need internet. 
But because some people, some other people might think differently. Like I need this. You know. <laughs> but, but I've already decided that if I ever, if I, ha- if I have to choose, mm-hmm. I don't need to buy internet. Like if I'm furnishing my own home, it's, eh, I don't need internet. I'm uh, sorry. I don't need cable. I just need <laughs> internet. <laughs> I don't even need a phone line I, because I have, yeah, exactly. you know, you have cell phones now. So the, the day of the hard line is kind of dying, in my opinion. It's well, it's now true. I don't. I don't wireless. have a home phone either. I have only cell phone at my house. Yeah, mm-hmm. the only hard line you need is electricity and internet. <laughs> yeah, uh, in my opinion. Well, the internet was the greatest invention ever. Shout out to Al Gore, <laughs> who <laughs> didn't actually create the internet. He just funded it. No, Al Gore invented it. He invented it. He, okay. he invented it in my <laughs> heart, man. He okay. invented it with his money. I, I can. If give it you wasn't that. for him, the internet wouldn't have been invented. This is it, yeah, it would have come a lot later. It would have. Draws there. parallel back to the ancient times when uh, monks in the churches would sing uh, chants, but it wasn't until Pope Gregory was like, uh, you know, we should categorize these songs, you know, so we can use them for future masses and uh, worship services. And then the internet was born. Yeah, <laughs> Al Gore just <laughs> like internet. Oh, Pran- uh, Did you say Pope, Chance. Pope Gregory? Yes, Pope Gregory. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is uh, where the concept of Gregor- Gregorian chants came from. Yep, and Gregorian like, chants oh. is what uh, Al Gore used to. Uh, yeah. Classic. Uh, Al Gregor. <laughs> Al Gregor. <laughs> Pope Al Gregor invented <laughs> the internet. <laughs> they actually talk about that in theater too, though, the Gregorian chant. Yep. Because mm-hmm. uh, back in, what was it, Greek? Greek, Greek, uh, Greek. Uh, was it Greek or was it Greek? With the which, uh, which kind of play used the, the choir or the, or the chorus they would call it, where they literally would have like a group of people on stage who would either sing or talk about like the stuff that, that would you couldn't start show. In Italy, because the uh, Italian opera. Would no, that no? that's not at all what I'm talking no. about. <laughs> I'm talking ancient like. Oh, ancient theater, time, like ancient theater, like. Oh, okay. Um. Well, unfortunately, I have. Yeah, that was I don't know why I was that. trying to say. I think it's the Greek, uh, ancient Greece. Oh, yeah, more, when they yeah, were doing like theater, they have all the myths to play off of, and then they can go from there. They would have so the chorus explain all of the action scenes and stuff because they couldn't uh, actually show drinking or fighting or sex. So. That's true. And then uh, all the female parts would be played by men too. Well, yeah, obviously. Like, damn, it's some crazy stuff. That brings us to the conclusion of the musical portion of our podcast, <laughs> apparently, with Al, Gr- with Al Gregorian music. Yeah, Al Gregorian <laughs> music invented the internet. <laughs> and the ancient Greek theater. It was all portrayed by men. Al- you named Al Gore. <laughs> named Gore. Yeah, named Gore. Oh, and there was Gore. Al. Don't forget Al. Al and yeah. Gore. Yeah, Al and Gore. Alan Gore. <laughs> and, and then Alan Gore Rickman came from that. So so we're, well, so what we're saying is all the great actors and performers all gore of them all gore <laughs> 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 mind blown <laughs> So um what are you guys planning to do this weekend sleep <laughs> oh. <laughs> magic what about you rest as much as possible mm-hmm. uh, I've been working a lot practice bass there you go. You're, you're gonna practice. You're gonna practice the bass. I'll practice your bass. <laughs> what? Oh uh, well, wow. Well, I'm gonna. Um, as for my thing, I'm gonna be gone in uh, Monterey, California, going up north to uh, compete in the Monterey Jazz Festival. For oh my god, the Monterey Jack Festival. <laughs> 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 I didn't know you made cheese. Dang. <laughs> Don't you know? It's my little side hobby. Oh, shoot. Is that why you're never on the podcast? Yeah. yeah every man. odd every odd time, uh, every odd podcast, he's gone he's making m- cheese. He's making Monterey Jack. Jeez. Mm. With the hip? With yes, the hip. Indeed. Yeah. The, the super contra hip? Well, okay. Wait, hold on. For all the, like, um, the Monterey Jazz Festival, I am performing with the, um, with the school's big band. And we'll be competing against schools like USC, Azusa, Arizona State, and it's just going to so be is, kind of intense. So is Al Gore um, judging <laughs> it, though? Is he one of the judges? Al Gore. <laughs> Al Gore. Al Gore is going to be one of the uh, audience members. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't think enough of him to make him one of the judges. At least honorary judge. I yeah, mean, he invented nah, right? Gregorian music, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he didn't theoretically um, 
Craig Gregorian music, he just uh, funded for it. He just kind <laughs> <of> <laughs> 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 he, there you go. He categorized and organizes, and there you go. And then he, he put it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All the interns for the world to see and hear. And so he, he essentially <laughs> he essentially owns it though, because I mean it's on the internet, and I mean if he funded the internet and it's on the internet, it's like he owns it. So yeah, theoretically, all music. the material that we have posted on YouTube so far is Al Gore's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Because so he, so he this paid for it. So this week, the podcast belongs to Al Gore. Yeah, shouldn't all only this video week. Only this week. <laughs> only, only this week. Only this week because we're talking about Al Gore. <laughs> Al Gore. <laughs> Al Gregor. Gregorian music and Al Gore and Alan Gore. Is, is that a is that a Lord Al of the Gore Rings? Of Al Gore. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds I'm not a Lord of the Rings. No, it, it's not actually. But Alan Gregor. I was saying like <laughs> Al Gregor. That sounds. That sounds very pretty. Mi- very Middle Earth. Very. Isn't okay. Like, okay. All right. I w- this is gonna be a stupid question, but uh, does Middle Earth really exist? EJ, that was a stupid. <laughs> <question>. <laughs> well, I mean, like, 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 um, where uh, J.R.R. Tolkien based Middle Earth off of? Does that? Well, like, what? First of all, what did he base it off of, and does that place really exist? It's called New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I've seen the movies. That the, that was that was New Zealand. All right. All Which right. Uh, like, uh, are we still talking about walking to Mordor or something? The hobbits are going to Isengard. But no, um, Middle Earth doesn't exist. Okay. Um, to my knowledge, it was a completely fictional creation or land. Mm-hmm. And then when they filmed the movies, they filmed it in New Zealand. So, by today's standards, New Zealand is Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Mm-hmm. Should also ask unquote. Brendan Fraser. Yeah. What does Brendan Fraser have to do with all this? Yeah, he went. He took the journey to the to the Middle Earth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the center uh, of the earth. <laughs> oh, wow. did he, did he walk? Yeah. Oh, really? He walked all the way. Oh man. I feel bad for the poor dude. He gets all like warped in like the, all the horrible movies. George, uh, Jungle? actually, he was in a uh, Silver Tongue, which was pretty good. Oh, I don't know. What about George of the Jungle? That was an amazing movie. Yeah, and then he oh. got out of. He didn't want to do the second one, so. Oh, and then he was also in the Mummy series. Yep. Uh, apparently, those are his best movies. People say. And then he was also George in of the Jungle. No, <laughs> Mummy. Apparently, he was also in Tiny uh, the Looney Tunes, the the Looney Tunes line that live action movie. I um, didn't know there was a live action Looney Tunes. Uh, I kept seeing it. Ninety percent of I these movies you guys are talking about, I have no idea. See, the, the only live action Looney Tunes movie I can think of is Space Jam. But that's Space Jam. That's not the Looney Tunes movie. Shout out to Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, and Jordan. there's also Who Framed Roger Rabbit, where you can see Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny on the same screen. Oh God! For the exact same amount of time. Yeah, because uh-huh. Warner Brothers had like a contract, right? Mm-hmm. Where like I'll, we'll show you Bugs Bunny if he share has the exact like exact same amount of time as Mickey Mouse. Yeah, or more. Uh huh. But so it was the exact. It was the to the second same amount of time uh, for both characters. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. And then same thing with uh, Donald and Daffy Duck. Yep. Basically, the Disney characters and the Warner Brothers characters had to equal screen time. <laughs> well, duh. It was pretty amusing. But, it, you know, though. it's a good thing that Roger Rabbit is in what Disneyland. A, what about uh, <laughs> Porky Pig? What's his counterpart with WB? You mean... Disney? Al Gore. Al Gore. <laughs> yeah. Al Gore is the answer to everything. Al Gore. Yeah. You should put in Al, Al Gore should have just been in the uh, movie. What can you say? Yeah. I'm kind of a Disney nerd. That's where I prescribe. Where you guys are very savvy with your TV shows. I, I don't know. I'm yeah, just, you're a nerd. Uh, wait, I'm savvy with TV? Oh. When did this well, happen? I know, right? And we, we don't even well, watch. Not, not TV. Well, <laughs> we like, just like we shows. just went over. We don't even watch TV. We don't watch <laughs> no, I mean, like, cable. The shows that go on TV, but you watch on the internet. So <laughs> thanks, Al Gore. I only watch it because <laughs> of my girlfriend. <laughs> once and again, she once watches again, shout the out to shows. Al Gore. <laughs> and I just like look over her shoulder, and I'm like, that looks good. Mm. <laughs> well then, you look over her shoulder, and you look at Al Gore. Yeah, and it's like, oh, man, that looks he looks good. good. Oh man, he, he always looks good. So I recruited maybe a potential trumpet player. Wait, what? What? Where the hell did this come from? Man, just dropping the <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, what the heck? Uh, well, like the the thing is though, like this person is still really busy with life right now. Ah, sounds like uh, board else. games. Yeah, sounds it's like a good board game yeah. though. So well, I mean, like um, I, I dropped the uh, idea and then 
hopefully this person will get back oh, to me. Just letting it simmer. Just let it simmer. Yeah. It's like, hey, like, there's an open but, spot for. But trumpet. you know, as soon as we do that, then we we have to cut somebody out of our let's plays because we only have four what player games, cool. man. Well, uh, judging from the way that this person operates, I don't think this person's into video games. Oh, then that's gonna. I don't know. That's gonna be. It's gonna be a tough call now. I don't know. That's one of the rec. That's one of the prerequisites of being an OCD. Yeah, you gotta play video games. And you go, well, I mean, at least this person like compensates with nerd knowledge, of um all these great programs you guys um mentioned like Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, etc. Oh, that's also another prerequisite. We yeah, so to, we have to be uh, the knowledge. Yeah, the most knowledgeable people over here. So, uh, <laughs> bye, EJ. Okay. No. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> over, my friend. It's okay. You can join my side band. We're doing ska dubstep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the <laughs> April Fools joke. Uh, <laughs> wow. So yeah, on April Fools, so we posted um, we posted a joke on on our Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash Orange County Degenerates. Woohoo! Uh, go ahead and stay uh, stay on that page. Go ahead and like and favorite and. Uh, like and favorite that page to <laughs> stay subscribe to our feed to stay uh, stay on top of all of the information podcasts, let's plays and all information posted on our wall. That was okay. the longest plug yeah, ever. Yeah, but uh, longest plug ever. You could just said shout out on April. <laughs> on, uh, on April first, we decided to to go ahead and post a couple joke posts. Uh, I I posted that we were changing our musical genre to something called lowercase music. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and that is the exact opposite of lowercase music, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Exactly. So lowercase music, for those of you not in the know, um, is the I guess the only way I can explain it is the artistic beauty of silence. Of silence. <laughs> you listen to um, uh, ambient noise and just various things. Uh, one of the one of the more popular ones, I guess, if you could call it, is like uh, I forget what it's called. John Cage's four thirty three. No, that no, that's not. No, that's, oh, a, that's that, not that's popular a at all. That's, that's not lowercase. That's a different. That's noise. a different genre. Oh, twentieth century. I forget what that's that one's called. called white but, noise. but lowercase music is an offshoot of that kind of music. Oh, okay. Um, but lowercase music is uh, well, there was one that it was a few, a, a f several minutes of background noise just ambient noise and then uh the rustling of paper it was just <laughs> sounds of <laughs> folding paper and putting paper in piles Th and this like would that. be considered uh what, what what did you call it what, lowercase what lowercase music, lowercase music, music. This would be an example of lowercase music okay so say that uh one minute has passed of silence and then you hear this There you go. <laughs> wow. That's it. Wow. And I think the music that you're talking about, EJ, is uh, minimal, min minimalist music. Uh, Ailey Torque. And then I countered well, I that post that with a post of my own. Uh, I believe I said at first that I was going to quit the band and start a ska dubstep band and that Christian could join me if uh, he could make his bass go warp, 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 warp. Hey, we should wait. As a little side idea that just came to mind, we should tease the people with dubstep. What? What? At the show? How? What? We don't have a dubstep machine. A dubstep machine? I was a dubstep machine. You know, with Pro Tools, I can make a dubstep noise. I was playing around with it earlier. Yeah, we were playing around with it. Wow! Yeah, it was fucking hilarious. And then, and then I had a relative comment on that post saying, "Oh my God, you own the band. You've like started it. You should just fire everyone else and keep the name." <laughs> in all completely complete serious, serious. Completely, completely serious completely serious just told me Nathan and EJ to pretty much eat shit and die <laughs> <laughs> on a public forum yeah <laughs> oh lordy in complete seriousness and then <laughs> and then, and and then, then I was like minus, that's a great idea yeah. <laughs> minus that uh, 
our podcast, podcast number three, talking about how we started. Oh, the I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And then, and then when we dropped the ball and we actually said, "Oh, happy uh, April Fool's Day!" Oh man, that was how. How do they not see that coming? Like for real. I don't know. Like who sits there on April first and goes, "Oh my God, there's so many pregnant people." <laughs> <laughs> and there was also Google Nose too. Oh, the, Google oh, Nose yeah. Beta. Yes. Freaking. But I mean, like, okay, what if that were like real though? If Google can develop technology like that, I'm sure they would. I'm sure they can. Wait, inform me on this. I don't know what this is. Google Knows. I, I can't explain it as well as Christian can. I, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll try, but basically Google Knows is like Google Knows Beta is where they try to get the infrared inside our devices such as computers or laptops to detect uh, the uh, molecules in the air of in, of scent and try to register that into Google and then um, it'll give you like descriptions of the scent, like where it came from and all this good stuff. Oh, and Knows, N-O-S. Oh, okay. I thought it was like K-N-O-W. It's like, whoa, it knows. Google, okay. Google Knows is a... Uh, well, Google is pretty much omnipotent, man. No one knows what the nose knows. The nose knows everything. No, EJ. Just knows. Nose goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the nose creates smells. True. The nose does create smells. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Okay, so what you smell is created by your nose not by the thing that you think you're smelling what oh okay I'm okay let okay let's say you're smelling a flower yes the flower releases um molecules mm -hmm. and those molecules when you inhale them uh, get trapped into your nose and then your and then those um oh, what's that word i'm looking for that data is sent to your brain and, in, and interpreted as a smell mm -hmm. so what is smell but something that your nose makes up mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. taking molecules and information and translating that into something like smell mm -hmm. so your nose invents it it doesn't come from it doesn't come from the flower the flower just emits those molecules mm -hmm. so um, with that in set in mind is that the reason why like when we were like around like a toxic area or like a whole around like a literal fecal matter um our nose reacts in uh, like negatively to like as a survival instinct to get away from the toxic or really stinky situation how does it um react negatively like, you know how, like, when we smell something really bad or really toxic, like, we have a c tendency to cover our nose and try to get away from the general area as soon as possible? Um, I, I don't think that's the nose um, reacting to uh, it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Like, it, it, like, basically, I'm pretty um, tells, sure the like, toxic tells is the just brain, emitting like, molecules that are really bad. <laughs> but, I mean, like, isn't, like, a form of survival? Because, like, we can smell danger, in a sense, sort of. Well, kinda, you kind of get what I'm getting at with this? I guess. But, but I, don't think, I don't think that's the nose's... No, that that's responsibility. Not our I think that's that's something that we've developed. That if you you know obviously if you smell something and it's not right, then you automatically interpret that as, well, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, if you smell like bad milk, then yeah, I should probably shouldn't be drinking this. Oh. It's not like uh, you smell bad milk and you're like start running away. Like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Survival <laughs> instincts run away from bad milk. Speaking of bad milk, I remember when I was younger, I actually took ate an entire cer like bowl of oh like, no um, cereal with bad milk in, and <laughs> I had to go to um, church like in no, a few no. hours after that for like a special service, and like this is like a very like it, like important day in terms of church. It's a good I thing you and. Uh, <laughs> Well then, let's just say um, things did not go well for me during that time period. Cause very important, very important. Uh huh. And then it ended up with me hanging out in the bathroom for most of the service. Nice. At least you. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shadow away the <laughs> sins. Speaking of uh, <laughs> shit stories. Um, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, great transition. Kinda, uh, great segue. This is kind of a weird thing on my like, uh, personal thing about me is that like 
Um, I found my closest friends in high school that um, I hang out with outside of like my musical academia. Hmm? They were lost. <laughs> you found them. You Did you lost. find them in the church bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, in the bathroom, <laughs> though. In your musical macadamia? Did you no, say that? outside of um, the academic life and the music life. Well, actually, I heard macadamia somewhere oh. in there. Maybe you're just hungry. Okay, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll listen to it in the... Uh, while I'm editing, <laughs> there you go. Well, actually, I lied about the uh, academia part because that's academia. That's what it said. Academia. Uh, academia. Is that really how you pronounce yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, um, yeah, that I academia. met these guys in high school, and um, pretty much like we started like hang out for a little bit, in all the because um, <laughs> no, 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 because um, Shat like, stories in the bathroom. Hey clo- guys, <laughs> <laughs> a close friend of mine from middle school who went to high school with me, uh. Invite like start uh, a bonfire thing back at Bolsa Chica Beach, and um, so it was me and two other guys that went to this uh, beach party, quote unquote. And it turns out the host didn't make it at all. The person that created the event so had, a, had, <laughs> had, a, had a bowl of cereal with bad milk, was, was stuck in the church bathroom the entire day. <laughs> Sorry, guys, got some shit storms. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're gonna tell some shit stories. <laughs> so, so we were pretty much left there all alone, and then we started hanging out with each other, and it all ended up like hanging out bathroom. at my house and slept over. And then, like, while before we knocked out, we started talking about our personal shit stories. Like, who does <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, for real. I guess we were the weird ones. God, this uh, man it was like well, this as big and it weighed twenty five pounds. No, I mean like shit well, stories. you realize now he's he's telling a shit story right now, so obviously he does it. Yeah. So I mean, like, like talking about like embarrassing moments related and, and to. Then, oh, like, I thought you were talking. <laughs> not not literal <laughs> like, shit, shit stories. That was that was. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I was like, like what? Oh no, man, this is bowl of cereals. Like, oh man, oh, there's my shit story. <laughs> Nathan, hey, did, that, uh, that was my joke. I said it was a shit story. Uh, hey, Dawson, didn't you have a didn't didn't we have a friend who, who wanted to find out if he ate nothing but corn? <laughs> 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 well, what happened? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh man, if I nothing but corn, would you just <laughs> shit corn? <laughs> <laughs> would you be able to, somebody on Would you be able to it? eat the corn again? Oh god, oh, did you really uh, ask that? Why would you? Uh, oh, 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 <laughs> oh <laughs> sick. <laughs> Whoever that is. Oh my god, Al Gore. Al Gore. <laughs> Shout out to Al Gore. Aliens. <laughs> I'm not saying aliens, but it's corn. It's the reptilians, man. But from truthism. Aliens. I'm not uh, saying it's corn, but it's aliens. <laughs> I had a story that I was gonna tell, and I completely forgot it now. It's was it a shit how? story? No, it was a it was a good story. Was it all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down? I'd like to take a moment, just sit right there. I'll tell you. How I became a fresh prince. Wow! Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined it. Oh, wow! You no, ruined no, it. No. no. <laughs> He even wow. cut, he even cut you off to yeah. ruin it. Oh. <laughs> cut me off and then you said it wrong. <laughs> because I was gonna try to do the alternative version that I found. That's uh, not the alternate no. version. No. There's your shit story. <laughs> yeah, that was a shit story. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Yu Gi Oh Bridge rendition of it? Synchro what? <laughs> Synchro what? <laughs> the fresh pharaoh uh, the fresh pharaoh of Belair. Uh yeah. Have you also heard the version of Lady Gaga's um, Brooklyn Rage? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I like, Shout out uh, to little Karibo and for that. Man, man. we always – we're man, is this like last week? <laughs> <laughs> and then, last uh, week we were just talking about uh, little Karibo and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge too. Dang. It's like I we're, wasn't there last week, we're so recapping. this is all new for me. Well, you know, you follow the trends of – of uh, e- show up on even number podcasts, so <laughs> mm-hmm. so I'm not gonna miss next week too. Theoretically, following the standard. Well, it depends. You on better not miss next <laughs> week. We have a show in like three weeks, dude. <laughs> not even for the podcast. It depends portion. on how it depends on how how well your cheese factory is going, though. Yeah, you know we know you're busy with Monterey Jack and yeah. stuff like that. So mm-hmm. every other week you gotta finish your hey, Monterey man, Jack. That's where my shit story comes from, man. All working with the cheese, <laughs> oh. lactose intolerance, though. Bad cheese, bad milk. And then, and Monterey Jacks. 
Jeez. It's all adding up, man. So speaking of speaking of lactose intolerance, I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, cool story. <laughs> yeah, it's not really. It's not really a cool story. Cool story, bro. But um, I'm lactose intolerant to 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 a minor degree. If I drink, you know, straight milk, then I'll have you know stomach cramps and stuff like that. But I can uh. I can have cheese and some uh shiz. Some shiz, yes. some cheese, and some ice cream and stuff like that, and without any major, um, major effects. But <laughs> what's worse is I have lactose intolerance, but I also have another, I guess, I guess you could call it a disease of some kind. Uh, it's a phobia. It's called emetophobia. Uh, emetophobia is the fear of throwing up. Ooh, so that's why. You, okay, go on. It explains a lot about me now, right? Yeah. So I avoid things that may or may not cause me to throw up. So it affects my eating habits and uh, lifestyle choices. Lifestyle choices, yeah. etc. That's why you're all like, "How old is this?" Yeah, that's why I'm when always. When did you get this? That's food? why I'm always asking. How, how old fr- is this? How fresh is this food? That's why whenever I do go, you know, when I whenever I do go out and I have a uh, a drink, an adult beverage, I usually limit myself to one, maybe two, because I don't want to have the unfortunate end of throwing up because I have a Blech. fear of it. Blech. Huh? I, that's ra- that's very enlightening, actually. <laughs> Something so that develops so when you're young. <laughs> so with that said in mind. What about when you're in a theme park situation? Like, would you ride on all the rides or avoid very particular ones? I I am very careful to avoid particular attractions. Like, I remember you mentioned a story about... Like the Haunted Mansion. That'll throw you up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm spinning around. Oh. Um, so, it, it's kind of fascinating now that you mentioned that. Um... You mentioned a while back that you went to took a vacation to Walt Disney World. Yep. And you rode this attraction called uh, Mission Space, oh Orange Lord, Mission. Oh, Lord, yeah. I'm just wondering, how did you survive that? Because I got to re- ride it. Bleh. I got to finally experience the attraction two months ago, and it was a crazy experience. You were not kidding. Crazy good. Um, crazy, crazy. I... <laughs> I I I I I don't know how I did. Um, I don't know how I did it. I just know I did. I I you, did. You I sur- just know you did. I survived without without hurling, without anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was dizzy and nauseated as hell afterwards. But mm-hmm. I kind of forced myself not to. Mm-hmm. Because the you ate like five times before. <laughs> yeah, I, I had lack. Uh, I had um, an acid and stuff like that. I also didn't eat anything beforehand. Oh, okay. Which, arguably, is not probably not the best thing to do, mm-hmm. because then you're just running on an empty stomach, and it's not it's not good for you either. But that's how I coped at the time. I just didn't eat anything. And then wasn't the person that you with? Didn't she eat? Prior to, no, neither oh. of us, neither of us did. Oh, okay. Well then, that's achievements. But I did take advantage of the, uh, the, uh, world showcase. The uh, yeah, the 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 drink tastings that that were there. I drank a lot of bubbly, uh, neutral, bubbly. neutral drinks to get the the burps out. Did you um, explore any of the Epcot countries in pati- in particular, or did you just kind of walk through? I just kind of walk through everything. Um, it was it was nice. It was a really long walk, but mm-hmm. yeah, I, I got to I got to experience it. it. Was it was pretty fun? What would you say was the highlight of that particular trip to uh, Walt Disney World? Uh, nothing <laughs> apparently. Nothing. Yeah, nothing really. <laughs> um, it was nice, but I nothing really stood out. You know, mm-hmm. um. I, Got some free sandwiches at Earl of Sandwich. Sweet. Oh, there's an Earl of Sandwich over there at Walt Disney World? Yeah. That's where it started, isn't it? No. No, it started no. in San Francisco. I don't know. I, I, I'll shut up. I don't know this. I thought it was... Actually, no. Maybe maybe that's right. 
I just know that the Earl of Sandwich franchise started in is still sandwich. it's it's still uh, it's owned and operated by the Earl of Sandwich, the eleventh Earl of Sandwich, if I am not mistaken, one of the direct descendants of John Montague, Earl of Sandwich, inventor of the, the sandwich. sandwich. What? So it's owned and operated by a direct descendant of the inventor of the sandwich. That is pretty dope. So if you're in the Southern California area, visit Downtown Disney in Anaheim to visit the only West Coast uh, West Coast location of Earl of Sandwich, owned and operated by the 11th Earl of Sandwich. That's pretty crazy. Oh my god, that's a little mind-blowing, actually. So Earl of Sandwich is just an East Coast thing? Or what? Or is it just a... I mean, well, I don't know exactly where all their locations are, but I know there's one in Florida, one in Las Vegas, and one here. But I, Las I know, Vegas. and I know that there are some, some around the world as well. Oh. I just don't know where. How about in Sandwich? Probably not. Mm. Wow, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> wait, wait. There's a city called Sandwich. Yeah, yeah he's the Earl. Of he's Sandwich. the Earl of Sandwich. Oh, Sandwich is a place in. I don't know. In London, in Great Britain, Sandwich Land, and he was the Earl what? of that town. The town okay. called Sandwich. That's pretty fascinating. Then he made a sa- he made a he, he, he made, made a sandwich. He he made a meal consisting of meat and and bread and bread. That way, and, and he called it a well. I don't well, know. he didn't he call it anything really at the time. He called and, it the Montague. And then when people started. Wanting that, they said, oh, I'll have it like the sandwich. Yeah, I'll have it like the Earl of Sandwich. And then people started eventually just calling it, oh, I'll have, have you know, I'll have it like the sandwich. Because like then because they associated that thing with the, the place, the of, place sandwich. of sandwich. Yeah. Oh, OK. Then and then people just start. I'll have a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's pretty much what happened. So is that just the kept same story with from burger? The Earl of Burger. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, because didn't, I'll have it like the burger. Didn't the concept of the burger originate in Germany. I thought it originated in Africa, Burgerton. Hmm. I have to remember the story, but I remember reading something about it like that. But there is a place called Ham Hamburg. Oh, and there's a place called Frankfurt. For the, hot dog. for the hot dogs, yeah. So, so the people the have peop- some franks and hamburgers. So, so people who live in Frankfurt are Frankfurters. <laughs> <laughs> that and then people Shady. who live in Hamburg are hamburgers. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my god! All right, here's my. I'll have mission. it like the hamburger. <laughs> uh, here's my mission. I need to meet a legitimate hamburger person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to qualify it with. With person, you just have to meet a legitimate the hamburger. hamburger. <laughs> oh, okay. A person from Hamburg, or you oh, know, so you don't, get com- <laughs> you don't get confused. Because when like, you say, ha- I'm just taking a Red Robin, you can <laughs> have an official hamburger there. <laughs> when when you say a, uh, when you say an official hamburger person, I'm thinking like McMayer from, uh, from McDonald's, who's got like a hamburger for a head. Oh, but there's the hamburger burglar, hamburglar, excuse me, from the McDonald's world. But he's not a hamburger person. Oh, he's a ham burglar. burglar. He he robs for hamburgers. Mm-hmm. Speaking of fast food franchises, there's this um, modded game where it's like you can have all the fast food giants fight against each other, like Ron McDonald, Wendy. But it's all in the anime form, so it's kind of cool. And then there's this. Um, I know there's a, a what's it called, a Burger King video game. Oh yeah, really the sneaking, Xbox. yeah, sneaking, stealth mode, Metal Gear style type of thing. <laughs> and then, um, I like I think it was Anime Expo, but there's this really cool cosplay of Ronald McDonald and Cur- the Colonel from KFC. Oh my god! Uh, with Ma- Ronald McDonald playing the role of Sephiroth and um, the Colonel playing the role of Cloud. I saw that one. Yeah. <laughs> what? And, and I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> and um, and McDon- Ronald's sword is like one large ass French fry. So it's really <laughs> dope. And the Colonel's sword, the Buster sword, is like a chicken. A chicken leg, a chicken drumstick. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that really fascinated me. <laughs> That's so funny. I know we had a conversation about the greatest mythical 
mythical warriors, warriors and stuff like that in the past two podcasts and i'd actually like to continue that to see what people's uh to, to see what your opinion uh is of that and i figured we'd uh let's see we talked about zombies we talked about aliens ninjas pirates vikings robots we didn't talk about robots well terminator robots uh well we talked about zombie plans and robot well, plans. plans but not but like we didn't combat. we never put zombies and robots in like a versus kind of thing so i think we need to talk about two more of our mythical warriors um if we talk about let's say robin hood hmm the hat the what is that the robin hood the Which gentleman one? thief type yeah. of thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. So if you look at Robin Hood and let's say we take a... Uh, so now, now we're going with single heroes? Yeah, now we're going to go with single heroes. Okay. And you pit pit him against probably one of the greatest mythical minds. Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes. Who comes out on top? Oh, wow. Uh, so it's like the good guy but a thief versus a... Det- a detective, the, one of the ge- most genius detectives ever, only yeah. rivaled by Moriarty. So, who wins? This time, it's not a battle of br- uh, of, of might. Brute. You know, yeah. it's not a battle of might to the to the death. It's a battle of wits. Well, oh, if you say that, then I would personally go with Sherlock Holmes. Uh huh. <sighs> but the thing is, I need to have like a basis, a basic understanding of both. Sherlock Holmes and um, uh, Robin Hood. Like, the thing is, my knowledge of Robin Hood is lacking versus Sherlock Holmes, which I was infected by mass media of Sherlock Holmes. Well, you know what? I would probably go with Robin Hood. Okay, why? And here's my reasoning go ahead. behind that. Because Robin Hood is a man of action, you know? He, he will get... Uh, he will plan out things, and he will he will get it, you know, and and come out unscathed basically. Uh, he's like a a ninja. Not well, not really a ninja, but you know, he's he actually has physical he, abilities. Yes, to and out. and he would he would come out, you know, he would sneak around and and do all this stuff and succeed. Versus um, Sherlock Holmes. He deduces and he looks at uh, things that have already been done. And, so then, he, and then he backtracks. And then he, and he, he backtracks. And he puts together what had happened. Yeah. So if we're going with uh, the idea of him versus, uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes versus Robin, Robin Hood, then Robin Hood would win in the sense of he would already have an item with him. But, uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes would say, oh, yes, Robin Hood did it. And then he sends off he sends other people off okay. to, to, capture to capture Robin Hood. But Robin Hood already has a contingency plan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he he already has that planned out. Like, oh, if I got if I get caught or people find out that I did it, then I go over here and then I hide forever. You know, no one will be able to find me mm-hmm. anymore. Although, like, one of the things that I feel like that we forgot to mention is that, like, in order for, like, the battle of wits to happen, we need to, like, find, like, a common goal for both of these characters to share, and then we can go about this battle of wits. True. Right now, we're just going off of Us. anything. Of what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Robin Hood really isn't the type of person to do this, but let's assume that he did for the sake of for the sake of the battle that we have let's say he's going to steal you know, he's, he steals from the rich and gives to the poor and he's going to steal the crown jewels right yeah and he gives them a heads up this day ah. uh, at this place i'm going to steal the crown jewels would he do that though no he wouldn't do that oh, but so this for, is just for the sake of for the sake of this battle let's say he does um, so now Sherlock Holmes knows it's going to happen. Robin Hood knows it knows that people are going to be looking for him, but he still has to steal the crown jewels. Who comes out on top? 
man. Robin Hood is a master thief. Uh huh. You know, man of disguises. He he's also he's also a con man. He's also a con man. So. But can Sherlock Holmes see through the con? That's the question, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because all we know of Sherlock Holmes is he has like really amazing deductive skills, only rivaled by Moriarty. Yes, but there's not a lot of clues for him to go go off of, except for uh, you know like assumptions and stuff. Because nothing, everything's happening in the now. Mm -hmm. So you would have to wait for something to happen in order for well, not necessarily, but you know. The the best way to deduce something is looking at things that all have already happened. But this being said, Robin Hood gave uh, Sherlock Holmes a heads up, meaning that Sherlock Holmes would have been able to do his his homework, his research, and look at his it past crimes, crimes and heists and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So he would have he would know how he operates. Mm. But at the same time, Robin Hood, knowing that Sherlock Holmes would do that, would he change his his M.O.? He, well, he always carries a contingency plan, so. But would he change up the way he does things? Hmm. Now that is very complicated. Because it can lead into like a ever never ending battle of oh he can change his ammo but then uh, Sherlock Holmes would think that at the head and then all of a sudden it's like it's just a basically whoever is one step ahead of another. So then what we have to determine here is who's going to be one step ahead. Up. Yeah. On top. Mm. Well, you know, you could always overthink things and then someone would just go to the simple, you know, grab and go. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick with my with my decision. I think Robin Hood would come out the victor. Yeah. Yeah. EJ. Um. Well. Okay. When you put the idea of one step ahead, since uh Robin Hood initiated the attack, therefore he's already one step ahead by being the initiator of of the situation. But that is true. <sighs> I mean, you're only going off of past crimes. Not what he's gonna. Not do, what he's gonna do. Right, knowing no. that he's challenged you to it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So I would, I guess, like in this scenario, like with this specific uh goal in mind, Robin Hood would, Robin Hood would win this battle. I would my my I would put my vote to Robin Hood. Actually, yeah. I still I I I would put my vote on Robin Hood as well. Wow. So it's unanimous. It's unanimous that Robin Hood would oh, best. Oh yeah. Like uh, Sherlock Holmes <laughs> in a battle of. Well, thievery, really, of larceny. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, are you guys hip to um, Code Geass or Death Note? That I didn't. A, that was a long time ago, but I, yeah. I watched some. I watched some of um, Death Note. Okay, all right, because oh man, I wish you guys knew a bit of Code Geass, but because um, there's this great debate of the main character of Code Geass versus the main character of Death Note. Light or L? Light. Because Light is a genius who, who uses the method, who uses the um the identity of Kira to go about uh doing his work using the Death Note, whereas the whereas the Lush, the main character of Code Geass, has the ability to um uh command do an absolute command on anybody as long he has as long as he has eye contact with somebody. But he also assumes identity with Light um Light's identity with Kira. Uh, Lucia's identity is zero, which he leads the Black Rebellion to um, fight against Britannia. I don't know a lot about Code Geass, but I would say Advantage Light. Okay. Um, only because I would say Advantage Death Note. <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> I, would, I would say advantage Death Note in I mean, general. As soon as you put the name in there, you, you're basically well, screwed. Well, but the thing <laughs> is, like, um, Lelouch, like, his public name is not his real name. That's the tricky part, because in, uh, in the public world, um, he's known as Lelouch Lamperouge, while his real name is Lelouch V. Britannia, because nobody knows that he's an exiled prince. 
and at and at the same time they don't know that Zero and Lelouch are the same person. So what basically what I'm getting at is Kira versus Zero. Yeah, except this is that's exactly what Light had to do though. Because he because he had no idea what L's real name was. Mm-hmm. L had no public face. He had no public name until essentially until he outed himself. He he threw himself out there to try to draw uh, Light out to to get a few more um, clues. I think Light is more is more resourceful than that. Uh, more uh, more resourceful because he was able to find and defeat L. Okay. So I think that he would have that that resource. All right, I, I feel like having this little debate is useless without knowing the other side of what the other true. side is capable of. True. Yeah, that's true. So let's let's scratch this one. If you guys are willing to watch Code Geass, it's probably the greatest anime series I've ever seen. Me personally, so I don't know. If you're into that type of stuff, look into it. It's 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 great. So uh, <laughs> the reason why, in case in case any of you noticed, but uh, about halfway through. Dotson decided to not say anything. He left, and he's laying down on the floor, uh, sleeping. sleeping. Apparently, yeah. I don't know what he's doing to make him so t- make himself so tired. But there he is, and we here we are talking about Sherlock Holmes and Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. But um, if you like that, send us more suggestions on uh, epic battles and um, mythical battles that we can try to put together because that's a uh, it's actually a lot of fun for us it's yeah. uh it's this great uh thought experiment that we that we keep putting together mm-hmm. um as always like i said before stay in tune with uh all of our news music podcasts and let's plays by visiting facebook.com slash uh, orange county degenerates or you can visit our youtube account which you're on right now youtube.com slash oc degenerates and our other and our other various social media networks, uh, such as um, Twitter at at Twitter at OCD Generates, Instagram at OCD Generates, and Tumblr at OCD Generates. All the same name, really. Wow, they're all OCD Generates. Yes. Apparently, Orange County was too much to type down. So. <laughs> F that. Well, then again, if you ever decide to tweet us, that's a uh, that's a few characters that you get to. Yeah, right. <laughs> that you get to save. Mm-hmm. Um. As always, you know, like, favorite, help, uh, help our channel grow. That way, we can uh, produce more content and music, and present it to all of you, our listeners, as well. Uh, leave comments and questions in the section below, especially if you'd like us to pit two great uh, warriors together in our next podcast. Um, I think this might be a regular thing for us now, putting together a mythical battle. Um, mm-hmm. To test our own uh, wit and skill. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it really it's a lot is. Of fun. It it really gets you thinking. It's a it's a thought experiment for us. Uh, but as always, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Uh, this is Orange. Uh, this is the Orange County Degenerates signing off.